what's going on. What are you trying to do? I am alive. Hi everyone. Where am I? I am somewhere in the Adirondacks. You see how, how, how long my hair is? That's why I have it on a bun. And it's brown again. See, like, I didn't color it. <laughs> I didn't color my hair. It's just like that. And it's curling. I'm on my way to the monster chain. I know. Anyway, so um, you're talking to them. Yeah, I'm talking to. Yeah, so, anyway, so my hair is. It is not. I mean, it's such a beautiful day now. I mean, it's starting to get colder. So, as you can see, I'm wearing long sleeves now. And, um,. Yeah, the, the the leaves are starting to change. In a couple of weeks, it's going to be it's going to look fantastic at the mass budget. I didn't bring any of the doggies today because it's a mission today. You see, we have lots of stuff in the back. Um, we have to clean. Yes. So that's why we didn't bring the goat. But when Nancy comes, the dogs are gonna be there. So when we're cleaning like this, plus them, you know, there was a dog there, so I don't want to expose my dog to just in case. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. Yes, my hair is really long and curly. <laughs> yes, I wash it. <laughs> I wash my hair, but it's just curly. It just gets it gets very curly. But yeah, so um, anyhow. driving so okay <laughs> yes um, yes I'm vlogging I haven't been here for a while so anyway um, the f autumn is here so the, the leaves are starting to change they're turning orange already and it's uh, just like I don't know just time runs so fast you know when you're when you get this age, run all this time. I remember, I remember when I was eight, I couldn't wait until uh, to be nine. Then I couldn't wait to be 10. I couldn't wait to be all that. And then all of a sudden, once that you, you reach 20, all of a sudden you no longer want to. <laughs> you, want the, you want the years, you want the time to stop because it all goes so fast after 21. You know, before you knew that I was 30, before I knew that I was 40. So, and now it's like, you know, like you, you see how, uh, you know, the, the children, like a year for them is like eternity. Like a year for us is like it was yesterday. We could remember what we did yesterday. And yet children, I was listening to my neighbor, uh, neighbor's kid yesterday talking to her friend. And she was like, oh, that was so long ago. It happened so long ago, she said. You know, I think it was January of this year, with the owner of this year. She was telling her friend that it happened so long ago. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, it's just amazing. The 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 the, the, the perception of children and adult, you know, a completely different thing. And then I'm like, and now 
um, at this age also. And I, 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 I don't know, it's like, I don't want to be a fuddy-duddy, but I, I, I think in a way, I, um, I am so glad that I don't have children. Because now, I see, I see my, my um, you know, I see the teenagers, my, my girlfriend's teenager, the way, like, oh my God, I, I'm, I'm having, I'm having a heart attack. You know, I'm having a heart attack. But I know that it, it goes with the times. You know, children are growing faster now uh, than, you know, I, 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 you know I, when we were young, I think our physically, we were not growing physically faster like the children these days. But maturity wise, you know, we were older. You know, by the time that we were 10, you know, my mom like left me in the house. Like I could cook my own food at the age of 10. Hi, Anna Alice. You know, I, I, I basically knew what to do, uh, you know, at the age of 10 or even at 8. And yet now it's like, if, if they left, if, if a 13-year-old was left in their house, all of a sudden it's like, you know, oh, you know, you should call the, the, the uh, diapers or whoever the agency is. So, you know, it, it seems like even a 20-year-old now is like they're saying, oh, she's, Oh, because they're young, you know, it's like everyone has a pass now because of their youth. I never got a pass. <laughs> you know, my youth was never an excuse for, for fuck-ups. I said, you should know better, Alison, you should know better. So, anyhow. So, yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh, hold on because I gotta I gotta fix my force glasses because I think it's coming off <laughs> um, anyway yeah you you, you 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 cannot frown about life so much life is is, is, is tough as it is however you always have to try to find the beauty also you know I'm just all over the place. So, what are you doing? I'm focusing. Keeping my eyes on the road in front of me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the doofus next to me. <laughs> this is the doofus next to me. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> He's already... So, um, um, yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I think, so it's, it's a, it's too bright, you know, the sun is like shining. So I really think that um, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I get a message about my post this morning. Now I'm just like saying is that don't let, don't allow anybody to rob your joy because you deserve to be happy. You know, it's like when you die, it's like none of these things matter really none of these things matter at all and 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 you know it's like you know you, the, the people who love you and who care about you they're gonna miss you okay they're gonna miss you however you know they move on after a while you know they you're gonna be a part of their memory um, and then life continues so whilst you are on this earth you know, you may struggle a lot. You may go through a lot of pain. You may go through a lot of disappointments. And all these things that you feel, you know, don't allow it to consume you. Because like the most important thing is like to live your life according according to your own rules. 
you know, to, I mean, as long as you're not hurting other people, okay, because life is, you know, they, they always say life is short. It's true. You don't know you could be healthy now, okay? You could be healthy now in the next moment. It's like you're gone. So what about if that's the last thing that you felt? You know, if the last thing that you felt like so angry and, and, and that, that shouldn't be the last thing that you felt before you go. So I have my moments of anger. I get really angry and, 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 I, and I feel like the world is against me. You know, I talk about it, I post about it when I'm feeling like that. And then I collect myself. I start collecting myself and said, wait a minute. And, I, and then I, I, I go back, you know, I, because you deserve that. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to be happy, even just for momentarily. Okay, because now, yeah. so yeah, that's why you know. So, uh, uh, like, like we tend to judge people. That okay, you know, why are you so angry? All of a sudden, you're happy, you know, and then you're just oh my, you know, because it's just mental, you know, something like that. You we tend to accuse or presume that somebody's great then stable because one moment they're happy and one moment they're like angry it's human it's the human nature okay but you have to be able to hold uh, to get a hold of your anger exactly exactly you know it's 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 like i mean don't allow that don't allow that to consume you i mean it's like you always have to tell yourself you know what I am worth something. I may not be worth, I may not be worse, worthless to someone else, but you know what? You are worth something. You are worth to someone else. Yeah. So, it's, um, you know, it's like, ooh, someone, um, No, we are on we are on our way to Vermont. Um, yeah, and 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 all these, and it's like how people like put so much emphasis on the material things, and it's like, can you really bring these things when you die? You know, it's like, and now I I I, I have lived I have lived. Um, a life that most could dream of. I, I really don't have a lot of things to complain, aside from the fact that, of course, you know, sometimes I look at myself and say, hey, what's wrong with me? You know, you know, you trend, you know, it's just human nature. You, you tend to compare yourself to someone else. You look at the other side of the fence and you look at this person and, wait a minute, you know, she has someone or he has someone and why am I alone? You know that's you know that's the ten. Yeah, it's just human nature. And then, and then you realize, okay, nothing. You know, you can't really compare it because everyone, everyone's situation is unique on their own. You know, no, no individuals are alike. You cannot, even though you share DNA with your twin sister, if you were twin, you're still two different people. I mean, if you look at, yes, I studied DNA. If you look at their DNA, and, 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 and <coughs> yeah, there's always a difference, even though you share everything. No human, no two hu uh, human beings are alike. Everyone is unique. So, okay. <laughs> so, Anyhow, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, there were times, I mean, there are times, not just were, there are times where, you know, I, I, um, I say, you know what, I want to give up, I mean, it's like, 
why things keep happening to me. You know, it's like I'm sick. You know, there's no cure to this bloody illness. You know, I'm tired all the time. I can't walk three feet without struggling. You know, when I'm sitting like this, I'm okay. You know, it's like, you know, people look at me like, oh, you don't look sick. I am very sick, but I don't care. You know, the, I, not that I don't care, I do care. But, but the thing is, I don't allow my illness. Hi, Barbara. I don't allow my illness to imprison me. It is a very, very hard disease. I'm very limited physically to what I can do. And, you know, unfortunately, it has, um, it has stopped me from um, living my life, um, you know, to its full capacity, so to speak. But does it, pre I mean, does it stop me from trying? I still try. I lost my voice you know, every time I get, I get really tired. You know, there's a lot of frustrations that I feel. You know, Zala, you know, sometimes, you know, I even talk about it. And, okay, you know, now I understand why people, you know, go to into the dark, go into darkness. I know there's a new algorithm now on Facebook that I can't say it. This broadcast will be cut off if I say the word. So anyway, so um. So I can understand, I can relate the, um, you know, when people go into 